How did you guys feel when you learned your seating? Well, I think we were stunned because we get so caught up in bracketology and all that stuff. We thought we were going to be a three, but what an honor to be in this tournament, be a four seed. Obviously, the committee thinks we're one of the top 16 teams in the country uh, to give us that seed. Our guys earned it, and uh, we're looking forward to playing Valpo. What do you know about Valpo? They're yeah. certainly not a slouch team. They won their conference tournament. They won their uh, regular season schedule. What do you know about them? Uh, I know their coach, <laughs> and I know his brother, uh, Scott Drew. So I know Bryce. You know, the dad, Homer, uh, they've won 28 games, I believe, so you're a heck of a team if you do that. D besides that, I don't know much about them. Uh, they play in a very good league that's very well coached, and, um, you know, any, any game in this tournament is really hard. So we'll be fired up. We've been focused all year. You don't get to be 27-6 and six playing the schedule we played if you don't stay focused on what, what, you know, what lies ahead. This has been such a whirlwind year for you guys. It started in the offseason with all the transfers, and then it just grew and grew with national rankings with your Coach of the Year honors. How would you describe this season? It, it's got to be a whirlwind. Uh, I describe it as a, a great season, um, very fun, um, great kids. Fun to coach, continue to win, and uh, played a great schedule and won. Finished second in the league by two games at 14 and four. Advanced to the semis of the Big Ten. So, you know, we we want to put a little icing on this cake now as we move in, into this NCAA tournament, and hopefully we'll be able to do that this weekend. Congratulations, coach. We'll see you in the tournament. All right, thank you. Thank you. Nicole and Coach, thanks. I like what the Turgeons have done with the place. Exactly. Yeah. Come uh, 25th all-time NCAA tourney appearance for Maryland, but as Mike mentioned, there had been a bit of a drought. It's the first time they've been in in five years. They haven't made it to the Sweet 16 since 2003, last time they got out of the first weekend. And, of course,